Hello everybody, I am finally here to do the voiceover for my review of Philip K. Dick's Vallis, which is also, of course, a bookish inspired makeup look where I'm using, finally, my product that I've Wow, that did not make any sense. The product that Tammy came out with recently, uh, where she collaborated with Revolution Beauty. Um, I'm finally getting around to testing it out on video. Um, this was the very first time I've used it. I've used it multiple times since. You might have seen pictures on Instagram. But for those of you that want to have a little review of this book whilst reviewing the product and showing you the product and showing you a bookish inspired look, then look no further. I have arrived at last. So. This, as I've already said, this uh, little bit of demo sort of thing was the first time used in Tammy's palette. I was really drawn to the green and yellows and like the blues and deeper shades of green. As they really, really, really reminded me of the front cover for Vallis, which was by Philip K. Dick. Um, I wish I could have found a more lime green, but I improvised with what I had. So you will see me sort of picking and choosing other random palettes that I was trying to find the perfect sort of lime green in. Um, I did end up adding like these white dots to the look. Um, I sort of wanted to have them sort of speckled around the eyes for that extraterrestrial godly realness that I feel like the um, novel really kind of brings to life if you've read it and you know what I mean. Um, I was contemplating yellow dots so I did add a few of you know just because spice it up a little bit a little bit of white a little bit of yellow why not and um, the packaging of this product is absolutely amazing and as always the pigments of revolution is incredible the shadows stick they're nice and vibrant um, easy to blend as you'd imagine So yeah, um, as you would imagine the deeper shades can stain the brush a little bit but it's definitely worth it for the price and the colour payoff overall. absolutely like the reflective white shade called Moonlight, that was a stunner. Um, I don't think I was expecting it to look so like pow wow in your face. Um, I should have used more of that for the lime green effect because it did have like a greenish tinge to it, it was like really like one of those really cool trippy colours. Um, but yeah, um, I decided to enhance the sci-fi kind of like otherworldly theme of this book with the strange placement of the colour. As you can see um, throughout the video, I'm putting colours in weird areas sometimes, um, as this book was indeed rather strange to say the least. So in terms of the actual book, as we're swiftly moving into that, um, I'm going to give you a brief review. It's... <laughs> It's a really weird book. Honestly, I think you should just go ahead and read the synopsis and kind of get your head around it. The synopsis won't even make much sense. You kind of just need to read it to see if you enjoy it. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's no short way about it. So, this was definitely like a roller coaster of a book. I'm not sure how eloquently I'll be able to put my thoughts across, as I said in my written review. But I'm going to try and get my opinion across as, as much as I can. Now, I did give it a five stars, so um, I definitely liked it. But it's probably an acquired taste, I will say. Because we're definitely thrown into the story right from the get-go. Um, as weird as it was, and not what I was expecting, I knew I would really like this novel. There was just something about it, like the way it was written. How I don't know how odd it was that I thought, wow, I'm going to like this. Um, the dry, sort of matter-of-fact, strangely written humour really reminded me of Douglas. Adams but with far like I guess you'd call it darker narration um, and I really enjoyed that weird blend it had a heavy feel of like I guess bizarro fiction if any of you have read anything like that um, rather than straight up sci-fi in my fantasy in my fantasy in my opinion rather um, definitely a confusing story but I couldn't help adore how difficult it was to deceive for certain things and I don't know it was like a first person but written as a third person that does get explained in the story so I don't know that added another sort of quirk to it um, it was just delightful like it was just really really weird I found myself so caught up with the discussions of space and time and gods that I kept forgetting this was a non-fiction science fiction novel I was absolutely like enthralled by it I was like oh my god yeah that makes sense it was it was honestly crazy um, I would say it focused in on Horse Lover's Fat as a character study, um, but it was it was more than that. But I guess that's like the briefest kind of description I can give you on on the generalised story, like who we're following, I guess, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I actually always thought The Man in the High Castle, absolutely love the TV show, or um, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep would be my first read of Philip K. Dick, but I'm so glad I didn't avoid this book to favour the other novels, as this was actually a really great introduction to the author, and it totally raises the bar for his other works, so I really do hope I end up enjoying other things that he's created as well. So let me know, what do you think?
think of Tammy's collaboration with Makeup Revolution, or Revolution, should I just say, I keep calling it Makeup Revolution, it's just Revolution now, um, I absolutely really love it, let me know if you've read this book, I know it's an odd mix to sometimes do like a review of a palette and then a random book, because you're like, what? <laughs> but I like doing it, um, yeah, so let me know if you've read this book, or if you're interested in checking it out now, um, I thought they were both cool, both the palette and the book, thank you so much for watching, I shall speak to you in another video soon, bye bye. Just like the street lights lit this time Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down Can't be afraid to leave this out We got this far, don't know how Just like a spark that's breaking out Can't make a start, can't turn back now We know that there's no room for doubt Just like the street lights lit this time, like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn.